it wasn't that I was just good at chess, it was actually more to the fact that I had this unusual mind and that made me good at chess, but maybe I could also do other things with it. I started playing chess when I was four and watched my uncle play my dad. They're not very good chess players, but I, I apparently I said, can I learn? And then within a couple of weeks, I was beating both of them. They took me to the local, you know, regional chess club and then I was winning all the tournaments there pretty much straight away. And then um, pretty much played for all the England junior teams and captained some of the England junior teams as I was growing up. It was my whole world. When we started DeepMind, we focused on games first because we thought it would be like the perfect test bed to actually try out our new algorithmic ideas. If you do games AI, the pinnacle of that, the kind of Mount Everest of that was always um, to have an AI system that could beat the world champion at Go far more complex than chess. And that's what we accomplished with AlphaGo uh, in, back in 2016. First system to ever beat the, you know, the world champion at Go. Um, but not only did it win the match, um, famous challenge match 4-1 in, in Seoul in South Korea against Lee Sedol, it's also um, how it won uh, that was important. And in fact, it invented new strategies, uh, most famously move 37 in game two of that match, which had never been seen before, even though uh, we played Go for thousands of years now. And that was very exciting to me because it meant that these systems uh, could go beyond what we as designers of those systems knew how to do. So I had my eye on protein folding as a problem, as sort of like the grand challenge of biology. How can you predict the, the structure of proteins just from their amino acid sequence? And so almost the day after the AlphaGo matches, we came back and we sort of uh, got to the top of the games AI world. Um, and I felt that that signaled we were ready to apply it to scientific problems like protein folding. And so we started it then and then uh, we were able to build a system that could predict the structure of proteins down to atomic accuracy. So the width of an atom, which made it useful enough uh, for biologists and, and medical researchers to be able to rely on and use. The whole reason I'm doing uh, everything I've done in my life is in the pursuit of knowledge and, and, and trying to understand the world around us. I've kind of been obsessed with that, I think, since I was a kid of uh, all the big questions. And, and for me, building AI is my expression of how to address those questions, is to first build a tool um, that in itself is pretty fascinating and is a statement about uh, intelligence and consciousness and these things that are already some of the biggest mysteries. It can also be used as a tool to investigate the natural world around you as well, like chemistry and physics. What more exciting adventure and pursuit could you have?